We started our bicycle trip in south of France in the city of Marseille at the 10th of October and our plan was to cycle to south of Spain. We didn't have an exact plan about the routes which we're going to take. We always planned the routes just a day before and we were checking the routes on the Google Maps usually, trying to avoid the highways and find the smaller roads because the highways are usually very busy with a lot of cars, so it's very dangerous. We didn't want to take that. And we tried to find the smaller roads with a good asphalt and trying to avoid the big hills. Sometimes it was impossible, but uh, we managed. And also we had a GPS on the phone, so it was very easy to follow the smaller roads. If you don't have a GPS, it's also okay to have a map. Sometimes we asked cyclists on the way as well to suggest us the better roads because they know better as they are locals there. In our equipment we had a tent, sleeping bags and blow up mattress so we could camp whenever we wanted. Both in France and Spain it is illegal to camp in nature but because the summer season was over and camping places were closed we were asking people to camp in their garden. In some cases we camped in the nature. Sometimes it was hard to find a place to stay at people's gardens because they were a bit suspicious, they were quite older or rich people, so didn't trust in young travelers, but mostly people were generous and they were very welcoming, so we could find the gardens. And um, also we found a place to stay on the websites, such as couch surfing and bomb showers, uh, which are used for travelers and they host people. We also had a few friends living in some cities, so we stayed in their places and a few nights we rent a place due to the bad weather. After six days of cycling we reached the city of Perpignan and because of the cold weather we decided to take a train and go more south to the city of Valencia in Spain. We also took some extra time to explore the cities and the areas around. That was one of our purposes as well traveling by bike to see more and to explore more the surrounding areas that we could uh, learn more about the culture and uh, meet more people and exchange the experiences. With us we had camping kitchen equipment and most of our time we cooked our meals. We tried to visit more local markets on the way and bought fruits and vegetables of the season. It was easy to follow a vegan diet. Foods rich in carbohydrates gave us a lot of energy to keep cycling. The easiest to prepare was rice and lentils, hummus and vegetables. Fresh fruits are perfect option on the way too. Talking about finance, we didn't spend a lot. We tried to save that we wouldn't need to spend much. In that case that we could show that traveling can be also cheap. So the average per day for food we spend around 10 euros sometimes slightly less, sometimes slightly more and just more we spend for trains but they're also quite cheap in France and Spain because the bike and the luggage is for free so we were very happy and just a few nights we spent to rent a place so we didn't need a lot of money for all our trip because most of the places were for free and just food cost considerably low price on average we cycled 60 kilometers a day. Our longest distance in a day was 101 kilometers, while some other days we did only between 30 and 40 kilometers. On a flat road it is easy to maintain the speed of 15 kilometers an hour or more. Well, going up the hills it is much slower with about 7 kilometers an hour. While going down the hill, speed was always over 30 km an hour and sometimes reaching up to 50 km an hour. Sometimes it was quite difficult going up the hill because Spain has a lot of hills so it was very hard to push the bike with a lot of heavy bags but eventually it was very easy to go down as it's very easy right then and sometimes it was a bit hard on the highways with a lot of cars because it's very dangerous so you have to be very careful and uh, sometimes the weather also made it more difficult it was sometimes very strong wind, sometimes heavy rain sometimes getting cold and chilly 
so it made it more difficult but otherwise um, in Spain and France was usually very sunny and warm weather and uh, eventually some roads were quite flat so it was quite okay ups and downs but we managed in total our bicycle trip took one month of which we cycled 20 days and together we did 1120 kilometers it was a great journey that gave us many good experiences bicycle touring is an amazing way of traveling green ecological way being active and healthy so this bicycle tour was an incredible experience for both of us. It taught us a lot of lessons and uh, we became stronger, more faithful, positive and more trusting while overco overcoming challenges on the way. We always had the hope and God always took care of us in any challenges we had. Difficult, challenging, dangerous or risky it was, God protected us and we were safe and happy. We also were very pleased to meet wonderful people on the way. They all were very generous, friendly, welcoming. We really appreciate that and uh, and a big, big and generous and sincere thank you for all of you who supported us, who were on the way with us and who helped us. If not you, it would be much more difficult. So we're very happy for you and for God that we managed this trip and we learned many different things in our life.